Below the turquoise waters of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula lies the site of a long ago mass extinction event. In a geologic instant, most of the world's animals and plant species went extinct. Drilling through hundreds of meters of rock, investigators have finally reached the footprint left by the accused. That footprint marks Earth's most notorious space rock impact. Scientists are assembling the most detailed timeline yet of the dino apocalypse. They are giving fresh scrutiny to telltale footprints left by the fateful events so long ago. At the impact site, an asteroid crashed onto Earth's surface. Mountains formed in mere minutes. In North America, a towering tsunami buried plants and animals alike under thick piles of rubble. Lofted debris darkened skies around the world. The planet chilled and stayed that way for years, and 70% of life on Earth perished. Researchers have found a dinosaur rib bone with preserved proteins on it. The proteins were found inside the vascular canals of the rib of a 195 million year old dinosaur, where blood vessels and nerves would have been present if it were living. Most fossils turn bones into rock, decomposing all organic matter, but this fossil had preserved proteins on it, which could help researchers learn more about dinosaur biology than most fossils could. The incredible finding extends the record of protein preservation by over 100 million years from previous studies. The research published in the journal Natural Communications found that the bone belonged to a dinosaur called Lefungosaurus. Lefungosaurus was a close relative of Plateosaurus. It was about the same size but it lived earlier. There are many fossils of this dinosaur from the Lefung Basin in southwestern China. It's one of several prosauropods known from the early Jurassic Lufeng Formation along with some early crocodiles and mammals. Although there are complete skeletons of this dinosaur, it's not fully described. The skull of the Fungosaurus was long and flat, and it had a small bump on its snout just above the nostril. Its teeth were blade-like with crowns that were wider at the bottom. The teeth were widely spaced. Its diet is unknown. Although it probably ate plants with teeth serrations, it may have also have eaten small animals. The research led by Dr. Rees, a paleontologist at the University of Toronto, found two proteins in the rib. The first was collagen, a structural protein found in the skin that connective tissues of all animals. The second was hematite, which probably came from the blood of the dinosaur. The researchers said the hematite played a crucial role in preserving the collagen, and may have come from hemoglobin from the dinosaur's blood. To find out what was in the bones, the team of researchers used a lab technique called Synchrotron. It uses magnets to cause particles to accelerate 400 feet around a many-sided shape. When the particles race, they emit light particles called photons. When the photons hit the bone, the researchers can determine what type of particles are inside it based on the way they absorb light. The team was so strict in preventing contamination, they accidentally washed away some of the proteins while cleaning the sample and only realized when they switched from cleaning it with water to using alcohol. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.